informing the soul about earthly life. As soon as you ask me a question I will answer and instruct you, so that you understand correctly and all ambiguity is lifted. The earthly progress of a human being's embodied soul, of the once fallen original spirit, is a difficult test of its will which is as free as it was when the original spirit came forth from me. For it is fought over by two sides and it alone will determine the outcome of this battle. Spiritual guardians will always stand by its side but they may not interfere with its free will. And at the same time countless adverse forces endeavor to cause the human beings fall once more. However, it is possible for him to master the latter by unwaveringly turning his will towards me and thereby constantly receiving strength to resist and pass his test of will. But since the original spirit is still completely without knowledge at the onset of its incarnation as a human being, since, due to its apostasy, due to its rejection of my light of love, it has deprived itself of its light, knowledge and awareness, it has to be instructed, and this takes place from outside and from within. Through my spiritual spark inside of him which ceaselessly urges it into doing kind deeds, and then also imparts an inner light to the human being. In addition, I will always direct a human being's circumstances such that he will be able to learn from them, because time and again spiritual guardians will influence his thoughts to take the right direction, to muster the will to turn to me, and then I will be able to work exceptionally in him myself. Thus I take every care that the original spirit will be able to reach its objective as a human being during its earthly existence once it has expressed its will to undertake this final test of will as a human being. But no soul no original spirit, having passed through the creation in the state of compulsion, will be forced into this final incarnation. The state of compulsion comes to an end the moment all small particles of an original spirit have congregated again, and from this moment on this original spirit will be free once again, it will not be subjected to coercion, neither from my nor from my adversary's side. It will be able to determine its own fate. During the time of its higher development from the abyss its resistance to me will have diminished to a point that it will then be fully mature in order to live on earth as a human being, yet it will have to accept this gift of grace voluntarily. And therefore it will also be informed of its earthly destiny. As a result of my permission the original spirit realizes that it is not yet at home where glories await it, and it wants them, but it also realizes that only the development as a human being will lead it back into its lost home. It also knows that it will have to occupy a form again, and this knowledge can still delay its life as a human being. But as a rule it will readily accept the embodiment as a human being and feel strong enough to pass its final test of will. But it should make its own free decision and therefore it is shown its earthly progress by observing itself in various situations and, believing itself able to overcome them with ease, is thus also willing to travel the final path in the form. However, I know every single original spirit's degree of maturity, and I am able to let it visualize its earthly progress like a vision, I also know how this dreamlike occurrence affects the individual soul and am able to induce its embodiment into the human form accordingly, which only becomes a living being when the original spirit has taken possession of it. You humans should believe that everything is possible with me that I am even able to touch a completely blind spirit with a spark of light to enable its vision for a few moments, and that these moments suffice to activate its will, which the original spirit is able to use again once all its substances have reunited. You should also know and believe that I do not require any length of time and yet my will brings forth what I consider necessary. 
and this expression of will by an original spirit to accept the human form is necessary, for it has left its constrained state and should now also freely decide to accept its earthly progress as a human being. But the human being's physical body only becomes viable when the original spirit has occupied it as a soul. Only then will the person be guided by his guardian angels, he will be gradually familiarized with knowledge, and will then have to mature as a human being first before his free will and intellect can rationally express themselves. It is the last process of development on this earth which can give complete deliverance to the original spirit providing it takes notice of the small voice within, of the inner urge which is the manifestation of the divine spark placed by me into the person. But during earthly life my adversary has the same claim on him, and he will also try to assert it. The human being is at all times subject to influences from above and below, however, he himself has to decide who will gain power over him. And this is his final test of will, that he consciously strives towards me as his God and Father, and no one can make this free decision for him, nevertheless, he is granted assistance in every way because I, too, long for his return and, like a truly good father, will guide my child by the hand if only it will reach out for it and allow itself to be drawn by me. For I want all my living creations to become blissfully happy, and I have truly taken all possibilities into account in order to achieve this very goal of mine. Amen.